Good morning and welcome in. Before we get into this early Sunday morning update, few areas of concern or topics of discussion we will be going over this morning. First, as we can see, XRP is down about 1.46% to 54.7 cents. We currently are still over the 53.7 cent level that we need to hold in order to still have an opportunity to have about a 5% or about 6.2% push from here to go up to that 30 or uh, 58.3 cents roughly. That is an area, that's the 2018 resistance and we still seem set up to have a quick hitter up to there like a flash strike as one would call it, up to that um, area of concern. We're still trying to push up, but we haven't broke down that area of support yet. So as long as that support is holding at 53.7, we are able to make that push up to 58 plus to that 2018 resistance, we'll go over that. And lost that area is invalidated. Then it invalidates this uh, current thesis of about a 55 to 6% push in current times. So we'll take a look at that as we've dropped about 1.68% overnight. We'll look at um, Bitcoin as it's up about 256 points. And it's outflows from its ETF. It was an a astronomical flow from the ETFs here as a... Uh, ETFs see their single biggest outflow in 90 days for the U.S. spot Bitcoin ETFs. We've got the XRP ledger sees a 65.6% drop in on-chain transactions. So that's definitely something to look at when it comes to the ledger, as it does tie into XRP. And the question that a lot of people are asking themselves is, the, are we starting a new bear market now when it comes to Bitcoin and when it comes to crypto as a whole? And I'm not willing to say that. But we'll take a look at the underneath support areas that become very, very key key areas that if we lose, we very well could be transferring ourselves in to an extended bear market when it comes to Bitcoin. And as we know with XRP, it's never gone into a bull market here in 24. The last time we've seen any semblance of a attempted bull market was all the way back in 2021. And now we haven't hit even a dollar in well over a year now. Well, almost two years. Let's see. When was the last time we actually hit a dollar? I'm actually curious to see this. And then we'll go through the intro and such. But the last time XRP hit a dollar, didn't even hit it there. I mean, you're starting to see the picture here. We got to go into the daily time frame just to go back far enough. So the last time XRP hit $1 was December of 2021. We have not hit $1 since December of 2021. You're talking about two and a half years it's been since XRP hit a dollar. When you start putting it into perspective, doesn't it sound crazy when you start thinking of it that way? 2021 in December is the last time XRP hit $1. So please make sure to hit that like button so that YouTube does recommend this update. By you simply hitting that like button, my content pops up in the news feed. And that simply means when you scroll through YouTube on the news feed, my content pops up, you'll be able to see it and you can make an informed decision whether or not you want to click on it. Or you might even be scrolling and be like, hey, I want to see what this guy's talking about. It's been quite a long time since uh, certain things have happened. Let's get a little bit of further information. So you must hit that like button so that YouTube recommends this and we gain new and older viewers to find their way back here. So please make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 8.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Sunday, August 4th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So, welcome in, everybody. I'd like to welcome in the new members and the old members that have found their way back to the community. Each group is so integral. And old members have helped me form this community into an identity of positivity over negativity, Help me make this into the vision that I uh, envisioned before I started. We have a place of love over hate. We are not the victims here. We play the winner. And we lend a helpful hand, not hurtful. 
So I want to welcome in the old members that have helped us form that identity and the new members that will help us bring in a new vision, a new perspective, and further advance what we're trying to do here in this uh, community. So both parts equally integral, equally important, and can do a fantastic job in pushing the power of positivity instead of negativity. So with XRP, what we're looking at here this early morning, we're down to 1.69% that 54.663. 54.6 cents right now. We've got a slew of areas here that uh, we need to deal with. I'm going to get rid of this mid-tier stuff because we can look at it on the other chart. But right now, 53.7 cents. We did come down to overnight, and we managed to hold this. So as of right now, we have not invalidated this structure. We've actually now in current times, it's right around 53.8. We've actually come right down here to 54 cents twice, and we're trying to reverse now. If we can reverse off of this, there's a very real chance. And the resistance here, if you look at the uh, pattern formation, the resistance right now is up at about 66.7 cents. Let's clone this real quick. Just so we can see the resistance here at 65.7. But 66.7 is the resistance if we were to play this pattern true. Because it kind of looks like a bull flag, an expandable. Uh, it looks like it's expanding as well. So... That's what very well could be playing out, but first things first. We can't get there until XRP breaks that 2018 resistance. And it's interesting because in order to break that 2018 resistance, where did that chart go? <laughs> Looks like it deleted my chart. Never mind, I put it on logarithmic, which is, uh, like I said yesterday, that update is a pain. The fact they added this, look how it can change the chart so drastically. It had my um, downtrending resistance line out, which is the most important part of this pattern. Let me, uh, let me add this back real quick. This is the rise, or this is the 2018 uh, pattern. It's the 2018 resistance. This is everything right here. So right now we need to get past 58.2 cents, get back over the 2018 resistance if we want to continue this pattern in a bullish fashion. If at any point we lose 53.8 cents, it opens up the door to a drop. And if we lose 53.8 cents, you start to speculate where the areas are. We've got 50 cents underneath, which is a psychological level. I can tell you right now, we don't want to lose 53.8 cents. We don't want to lose 53.8 cents if we want this rally to continue. And if we really want to back test 58.2 cents, even if bearish, we definitely don't want this to break. Because if this breaks down to 50 cents and the opportunity or the realistic, or the realistic um, approach here, or being realistic, we'd probably come back and back test 53.8 if we had a drop down to 50 or 48 and a return back up. So we're looking to hold this. We've created this what looks like possibly a little bull flag setup. But you can see that double top with the Batman top. That's what we have to worry about. That's what we have to worry about here. So that's why 53.8 cents is everything right now. It's everything. And then we need to push past and break up above 58.3 cents. If we can complete that feat, which is not going to be easy, folks. It's not going to be an easy feat. Then we've got like the cup and handle resistance above us. At 64.5, we've got the rising channel resistance, which is even more important, the uh, cup and handle resistance, at 60.85 cents. So we've got a slew of resistance right now. We've got to get past. We've got to get past. Otherwise, we could get into some very painful moments here if XRP decides not to break up and it continues to push down. If we lose that uh, 53.8 cents, there is a very real chance if we come below 40 cents that we would come all the way back down to 42.3, which is now the support of the cup and handle since we got resisted on the cup and handle resistance, which is also a falling channel as well that it formed on that same handle resistance with the uh, falling channel support just below. So if you look at the handle support, it's at 42.3. We've got the falling channel support at 34.6, which honestly, if XRP does use this as a Batman top, I could very easily see it going there if that's the, the path that it decides to go. But again, we're going to have to break through a lot of support just to get there. So I would rather see it take the upward momentum, pay off everybody who's uh, bought in during the, during the downturn. Um, 
but you're just going to have to pay attention very closely here. At 53.8, this to me is the pattern of patterns. You've got that 2018 resistance in blue, and that's gone all the way back to all-time highs. And if you're new, we'll go over this very quickly because I've got a lot more stuff to go over today. We've got $3.31, which was the all-time highs. That's resistance one in January of 2018. Support one is March of 2020. Took 27 months to come down to the swing low at 18.4 cents. Then we got support two at just about 18 cents in December of 2020, January of 21. Resistance two, April of 21 at $1.98. Support three at 30.3 cents in January of 23. Resistance three, which is the most important hit of this whole thing. It confirms the pattern because we've already had three hits of support, three hits of resistance now in March of 24 at 74 cents. We get a monumental hit on support here at 40.2 cents to hit that four time. And then we hit a four time on resistance in July of 2024. Right at, what was that at? So far, it's right at about 59.3 cents, unfortunately. 59.3 cents. So that's what our all-time pattern looks like. If we break down and lose 53.8, the likely support on this uh, pattern that's formed since 2018 is 40.8 cents. So we have to pay very close attention. I know in the weekly it looks weird, but when you break it smaller, you can see the different price labels. Why they are where they're at. Now that was quite the fall for my tablet. That was interesting. What is going on here? Sorry about that, but when that fell, it knocked everything out of, uh, knocked how I had everything set up down. Anyhow, so that's what we're looking at. Unless we lose 53.8 cents, we're still set up to retest 58.1. The moment we lose 53.8, you do have lower opportunities here. Not saying it's going to get there right away, but technically the breakdown target is going to be somewhere around 42 cents, 40.8 cents. It's going to be a pretty big drop if you break down. And we can simply measure it by the pattern. It tells us everything we need to know. So on a breakdown here. Yeah, see you're looking at a move to 40.852. Wow. So if it were to break down, the technical target is right about 40.8 cents. And if we look how perfect that is. If we break up the technical target, basically it gets us to that 78.9 cents. And if we break down, it gets us to about 40.8 cents. And right now we're at the bottom side of the pattern. So you buy support, sell resistance. So you have any faith in this pattern, right where it's at right now is the chance. But then you'd have to have a stop loss if you're taking like a lever trade or something underneath. If you're a spot trader, the reason why you would buy it if you're considering buying it right here is you can ride from 54. And then if it comes back up to this resistance, it's a 25 cent, 25% move. And it could still get rejected at 66 cents and the pattern could still be overly bearish. So that's the opportunity in front of us. Or it bounces off of 53.8 and we get rejected at 58.1. Otherwise, if it loses 53.8, the technical target, if it's confirmed, is all the way down at 40.8 cents. So be very, very, very understanding of what you see here in front of you on this Sunday morning. And then real quickly, um, I've had questions. Yes, there was a copy trade last night. If you are a part of the copy trading, I did do a copy trade. Um, I did a lot of due diligence. I suspended it until further notice. You've been given further notice. And uh, for anybody who was still following, as we've had 44 cumulative followers, there's only a couple of people that are left after, um, after I suspended it. But I restarted it yesterday as I got confirmation for the stronger liquidity pools. So I was very happy with that. So I found out Ethereum, Bitcoin are very easy. See, only four current followers now. Only four people stayed true and continued sitting here until uh, I was ready to retrade. Right now, we're up $123.78 on our $100 challenge. Yesterday, we had a $109.70 profit. And I don't even know if anybody stayed around to even be a part of it. So... Um, it says there's only four people actively following. So if you're part of my copy trading, yes, we had a few week lull because I had to figure things out as far as hot coin went for stronger liquidity pools. But right now, if you're a part of that $100 challenge, 
We're a total PL. We are up $123.78. That means if you started with $100, we're up 123.78%. And I have less than $500 in here right now. I have like $300 and something dollars in here in total. Um, so it's been a spectacular um, run for anybody who stayed true. As you can see, only four people stayed true. And we were up to 40 something. So a lot of people decided to take their money and run over the last three plus weeks as I've been trying to figure out the liquidity pools. But I promised to be back and we had a scorcher to start. So now we're up $123.78. We're 20 or 15 wins, 11 losses, 57.69% win rate. But we were up 123 or $123.78. And on our $100 challenge, we're up 123.78%. As now we've got more of a liquidity pool to use. I could simply use a couple hundred dollars here now to trade with instead of a hundred and we could get better performance or I could just do it at a hundred dollars a clip. But that's just what's going on there. So if you have questions, yes, I did make an active trade. We hit a monster on Ethereum. It was fantastic. And we we're able to increase our PL by $109 on a single trade. And now we're up to about 127% up right now. If you look at it from the hundred dollar challenge so i appreciate everybody who's a part of that i really really do so bitcoin it's interesting because we dropped below this key support that we were talking about if it was on a broadening wedge and right now if it is a broadening wedge it's being rejected here at 61,215. i'd be very cautious in the market if bitcoin gets rejected at 61,215, there's a very real chance we can come to 58,259. in fact i think that's the better buying targets um I think it's the better buying target. So watch that with Bitcoin to see if we get a rejection or not. If we get a rejection, we've got about a 3,000 point drop. Ethereum, which I did make that futures trade yesterday for the copy trading group, and it was a monster. And it was in short order. But right now we've fallen a little bit below the 2,933 resistance so far. And this short peak up, we've got support structure here. And I'm going to put this down here so we can see the support. At 2,906, if we lose 2,906, it's very bearish. It's very bearish. And honestly, I could see Ethereum come down to 2,800. There's a very strong support structure at 2,800. So if, if we fail here, if Bitcoin fails to get over 61,220 and Ethereum fails the whole 2,900 area, there's a very real chance that Bitcoin's coming down to 58K plus, just around 58 plus, and Ethereum would be coming down near 2,800. So that's what I'm looking at, and uh, make sure you uh, plan appropriately. And then I want to read the XRP ledger stuff. The U.S. spot Bitcoin ETFs crap, or the news about the uh, drop, we'll read that in the live tonight if we have a live. I don't want to do that because we're going to go way over, and I only want to do this about 20 minutes. So if you appreciate my work, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that like button and subscribe and join the over 22,400 subscribers. Share this on social media. If you appreciate what I do and you want to go above and beyond, consider sending one YouTube super chat per month or consider joining Tom's Army and getting the emoji badge of me being abducted by aliens in month one or and all the way up to three years with the XRP Diamond Hands badge. If you're looking to trade XRP, your favorite crypto, as you've seen me do, BitUnix has the lowest spot and leverage trading fees in the USA. Um... No VPN worldwide or KYC unless you're sending or receiving from a bank account. And if you're looking to copy trade me, video description below and or pinned comments. Go to Hotcoin and follow the link. They have XRP Bitcoin. They have the XRP Bitcoin pairing. They have Ethereum, Casper, a whole bunch of stuff. HBAR, um, IOTA, IOTA X. But if you're looking to copy trade me, go to Futures. Go to Copy Trading after you've already clicked on the link. Make sure you deposit your money because you have to put it into the Futures. And then you type in XRP, and then there's future MIL. But once you type in XRP, mine comes up. 30-day win rate, 60. You'll see mine. It's 12.94% PNL. And then when you click on it, you'll see total PNL ratio says 18.38%. And we're up $123.78. So that's how you find me if you want to copy trade. Now let's read this, and I'll get this update out to you. XRP Ledger sees a, 60, a major 65.6% drop in on-chain transactions. So XRP Ledger faces steep declines in transaction volume and soaring fees, raising concerns for the platform's future. So the XRP Ledger wants a buzzling digital marketplace. Has, and we've read this through the actual Q2 report. 
has experienced a dramatic downturn. What was thriving ecosystem in the first quarter of 24 has rapidly transformed into a quieter, more expensive platform in the second. Transaction volume plummeted by over 65%, stark contrast to the previous quarter's robust growth. To compound matters, the average transaction cost skyrocketed by nearly 170%. This abrupt reversal has sent shockwaves through the cryptocurrency community, leaving analysts puzzled and concerned. Ripple attributes the surge in fees to increased network load, a mechanism intended to deter spam. However, the underlying cause of the significant decline in transaction activity remains a pressing question. This downturn is formidable is a formidable challenge for the XP Ledger, requiring a strategic response from Ripple. The company is positioning the ledger as a hub for tokenized real-world assets with digital asset exchange, Arcax, set to bring hundreds of millions of dollars worth of such assets on the XP Ledgers in the coming year. This influx of assets could potentially revitalize transaction volume and generate substantial fees for the network. Furthermore, Ripple's plan to launch Ripple USD, a stablecoin, which is RLUSD, a stablecoin backed by U.S. dollar deposits and government securities later this year could significantly expand XRPL's user base and transaction volume. Stablecoins have become increasingly popular in the cryptocurrency market due to their price stability and utility for various financial applications. The recent launch of tokenized U.S. Treasury bills, T-bills on XRP Ledger by Open Eden is another positive development. These T-bill tokens Backed by short-term U.S. government T-bills and subject to rigorous know-your-customer and anti-money laundering checks, represent a new asset class on the XRP ledger and could attract institutional investors. Despite the challenge posed by the decline in the transaction volume and rising fees, Ripple's strategic focus on tokenization, stablecoin insuance, and regulatory compliance positions the XRP ledger for potential growth in the future. However, the company will need to address the underlying issues affecting transactions activity to ensure the long-term health and competitiveness of the platform. While Ripple's plans for tokenized assets and stablecoins aim to revitalize the XRP ledger, the success of these initiatives is not guaranteed. The introduction of tokenized T-bills might attract institutional investors, but it may not immediately boost transaction activity on the XRP ledger. The drop in transaction volume and the rise in fees on XRP ledger highlight Key challenges for blockchain networks, Ripple's efforts to produce real-world assets, and stablecoins aim to revitalize the platform and attract institutional interest. How effectively these strategies address current issues will be crucial for the network's future and its role in the evolving cryptocurrency market. Make sure to hit that like button if you uh, enjoyed this update, and if you made it till the end, hashtag be better, do better in the comments.